Well, now we go to 140 pounds. And we have a battle of three-time state champions here in the gold and red singlet and the red ankle bands. This will be Frank Molinero from Southern Regional High in New Jersey, three-time state champion. He's headed for Penn State. Ah. And in the red singlet and the green ankle bands, Jamal Parks, the first of back-to-back -back wrestlers we're going to see from Tulsa Union High. Parks, a three-time state champion. He's headed to Oklahoma State. Sandy Cagey of Ohio is our head official. Charlie Jones of Arizona is the assistant. Both wrestlers, you see, I mean, they, ha they have that low center of gravity. They get in a good stance. Put one hand on the mat. There's not too much room for air to get under. Parks in on the, on the single. He's got the first good shot of this match. Trying to reach across to the double. Doesn't really have the reach for it. And he lets go of the leg as Molinero able to get the other leg away and almost a snatch there by Parks, but can't do it. And they'll come back to the center. Molinero did a real good job of fighting that off. Splitting hands, getting the leg back, that's what you do. No score here. We're at 140 pounds. A pair of three-time state champions, Frank Molinero of New Jersey in the red and gold. Jamal Parks of Oklahoma in the solid red. And Real nice high cross. Quick. Real nice. My God. On that shot. Woo. And right behind is T Jamal Parks for the takedown, and he leads two to nothing. Lightning quick to the leg that time. That one you want to rerun. That was so excellent. 30 seconds left in the first period. Two to nothing for Oklahoma State recruit Jamal Parks, Parks of Tulsa Union, Oklahoma. He slipped through that high crotch. Bolonero just, just based out. I mean, there was no reaction whatsoever uh, with a wrestler that reacts well. We know last year, guys, we saw Mike Gray from New Jersey, who was the first four-time state champion ever in uh, New Jersey. You know, in all their history, there have been only 21 three-time state champions. Molinero was the 21st this year. Not very many. As you would expect in a ultra-competitive state like New Jersey. And you know what? It wasn't so long ago that you would look at the top teams in the nation and you may see a few New Jersey teams. Now, there's a few more that I would like to see from being a Pensy guy. <laughs> That's too close to the border. Oh. Well, and the, the escape for Molinero finally runs out of Parks' grasp with four seconds left of the first period. And it will be two to one as we go to the second, an injury time for Molinero. It was definitely a flurry there. He did anything he could to get escape. I thought it was interesting that uh, Parks here from Oklahoma, you know, we have a lot of these guys that started wrestling when they're six, seven years old. He didn't start until eighth grade. So this is only, what, his fifth year of wrestling and doing pretty good so far. Well, speaking as a, I hope, an impartial observer, Ed, I can tell you that I don't think you have anything to be afraid of. <laughs> Thanks, Rob. <laughs> anyway, the injury time has stopped. Ball and arrow wins the toss. And thought about going down, but he decides to defer. And Parks will start down as we go to the second period. Two to one for Jamal Parks of Oklahoma, and we will see his teammate and workout partner, Seth Vernon, also a three-time state champion, in the finals at uh, 145. Ooh. Wow. And up to his feet and easily out is Parks, and it's three to one. So that workout partner thing, uh, Rearing its head again here for these uh, two standouts from Tulsa Union. That's huge, absolutely huge. 
they push each other. They lo they feed off each other. Um, you know, you, you have a situation like that in your workout room. This is the result. Parks has cat-like shots. I mean, he looks like he's just hanging out, and then he's in on a leg in a second. He leads three to one. He has the match's only takedown. And dives underneath to the double. Can't hit that. Reshoots to the single. They go out of bounds. A minute nine left here in the second. Molinaro may have had the wrong stuff to eat before tonight. Sometimes that happens. Yeah, it looks like his ribs are bothering him or something. But th as you mentioned, this is the only match these guys will have today. They had their semis yesterday. And so uh, they're well rested, ready well, to go. Obviously now, if you're Parks, you can't fall for that. You just got to keep the hammer down and keep trying to score. Oh, yeah. And believe me, Rob, I think he's knowing that too. But that's a well, well taken point. 45 seconds Fight here. for hand control. And now a half shot by Molinero and uh, look like their heads crash there. Yeah, a little little bit of a little bit of a head butt there. 40 seconds left in the second period. It is three to one for Jamal Parks of Oklahoma. Now Parks oh, in man. on the leg again. And the same side as the first takedown is successful again, and it's five to one, his second takedown of the match. That's that same shot. It's actually, he's shooting away from a high crotch. Usually high crotches are shot tight, head tight. He's shooting away from it, and he's so fast, he turns the corner. Molinaro, again, cannot react. Parks looks at the scoreboard, and a stall warning against Molinaro. He knows it's a short time, so he just freezes him out for the end of the second period, and we go to the third. Parks' leads five to one, and Molinero hurting again. He's gonna take down as we go to the third period. Molinero has already taken one injury time in this match. We'll see how much he has left here in the third period. Molinero is out, it's five to two. And sort of pushes Parks out of bounds. We really haven't seen a real solid shot out of Molinero yet. Parks has the only two takedowns of the match. He leads five to two. Seems like a very strong wrestler, but hasn't yeah. been able to use that to his advantage yet. Molinero trying to, trying to beat on that head a little bit. Well, you look at Parks, he has a, a very small strike zone. Right. Oh, there's now, a good Molinero shot. Clamps onto the leg, tries to spin behind. There's two. Yeah. And Parks finally gives it up. It's a takedown and it's five to four. The escape makes it six to four and it is the second injury time now for Frank Molinero. And that means Parks is gonna get his choice when we restart. Looks like we might find out what he did have for lunch. <laughs> Well, it's best to look the other way. <laughs> I'm a coach, it's all right. <laughs> Molinero. Parks has already made his choice. He will take down on the restart. Now explain then the high school rules there if- uh, this, On the second injury time, the opponent will get his choice of starting position. Parks will take this opportunity to essentially get a free point. He hopes anyway. A minute 19 left to go in this match as we restart. Now is Molinero playing possum? Wanted him to go down so he can get on top? I don't think so. Parks easily out and easily yeah. gets the reversal. And Molinero clearly yeah. not 100% now. He's, in, He's some uh, discomfort. in a weakened state here. It is eight to four for Jamal Parks. I think a lot of that's just Parks is pushing him so tough. Uh, taking him to the edge there. 55 seconds left to go. Molinero back to his feet and they go off the edge. 51 left in this match. Eight to four, now the lead for Jamal Parks of Oklahoma. Yeah, I mean, Molinero may have felt good coming onto the match, but they came out of the gate firing and then, you know, if you were having the wrong stuff, uh, a little bit too close to match time, uh, things start to happen. 
Down to 45 seconds left to go now. Parks riding behind the arms. Both wrestlers have won five matches over the last, oh. Finally, Molinero gets up, gets out. Thought he's gonna jump on the table. And we'll get a restart. Yeah, he was coming our way. Sorry, Frank, we don't have the trash bucket here. <laughs> Sorry, Rob, I was backing out, Rob. Oh, wow. man. Oh, nice double leg by Parks. Molinero walked right into that one. And it is now 10 to five, 20 seconds left to go. I think this match is over, gentlemen. Well, Parks really has been impressive. Three takedowns and a reversal here. Showed his quickness off the bat, and now he's showing his conditioning. Five, four, three, two, one, and that will do it. By a 10 to five score, Jamal Parks of Tulsa Union High in Oklahoma is the National High School Seniors State Champion at National champion, I should say, at 140 pounds.